All right, so, ladies and gentlemen, they have to get up early in the morning, take their time getting all their makeup, their hair done, and that's just the guys. Then there's also the girls that have to get ready. So we're gonna let them let loose a little bit and have some fun. We're gonna find out who the most competitive bridal party couple is. We're gonna play a game called Musical Chairs Scavenger Hunt. Look at this girl looking at me like, what are you, uh-uh, mm -mm. Okay, we're gonna see. The ones that look like this are the ones that come running back, sweating, and they've already knocked down three other girls, and they're like, I'm gonna win. All right, so here's the deal. When the music starts, the girls are gonna all get up, and you're gonna walk around your chairs. That's all you're gonna do. The guys, I'm gonna give you one item to go find. You're gonna go find it, run back, hand it to your partner so she can sit down. But here's the deal. I'd like to introduce you to Vanna White number one and Vanna White number two. Come strut your stuff over here, ladies. Let's see what you got. They'll be helping me through this. Pro oh, the turtle, wow, hey. They're gonna be helping me, so here's the deal. When the guys go find those items, ladies, they're gonna sneak in and take two chairs away. So there will be two couples that don't make it through the first round. And those will be the two couples that we make fun of every year, the next 10 years at all the anniversary get-togethers. You will be known as the two couples that lost first. So, Vanna number one, park it right there. Vanna number two, park it over there. Now here's the deal, don't let these girls scare you because they will beat you up if you try and jump in between them. But get those chairs for me. So, once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is how it works. When the music starts, guys are gonna go find an item. Girls are gonna just walk around their chairs. It's as simple as that. Guys, bring that item back to your partner so she can sit down. If you are sitting in an aisleway, a doorway, or something like that, beware. These guys are gonna see red, and they're gonna look like a football team, and they're gonna come barreling through. So that was your warning and your waiver. Now, usually when we play this game, it's at a hotel, there's a bathroom really close, but in one of these games, you might have to run to the bathroom. If you don't know where that's at, it's way down there. Just let me know. That could be later, though. Here we go, the very first item I need you to find while the girls are walking around their chair is, see, look at this. They get competitive. A single sheet of toilet paper oh. or a napkin. All right, take two chairs away. Perfect. Hurry, hand that napkin or toilet paper to your partner. When you get it, sit down. As soon as you get it, you can sit down. Who is going to be our first? Oh, here they come. Look at them running. Couples, come out here. First two couples, come out here. Papa John, come over here if you didn't make it. Where's, where's your partner? Where did they go? Where's your partner? Hey, give them a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. They tried their hardest. Now, grab everybody else's napkin and toilet paper. You can use that to wipe away your tears for being the first ones out. All right, now we're going to have the girls. We're gonna have the girls get behind the chairs and the guys sit down. This is where it gets crazy. All right, once again, Vanna number one, Vanna number two. They're gonna take away two chairs. But be fast because they're not going very far for their item. When the music starts, guys, you're gonna get up, walk around your chair, girls, go find this item, be the first ones back. Don't be the last two back. I need you to go out there and I need you to find me a Wisconsin ID that's, wait, dated before 1980. Look at these cheaters. And it was the one that was giving me the eyes because she was mad she was in the game. Told you, 1988. Have a seat as soon as you get it! And there we go. Give them a round of applause. Give them a round of applause for making it. You guys can return your IDs now.
All right, and then there were three. Now we're gonna have the ladies have a sit, sit down. Sit down, have a sit. Ladies have a seat. Guys behind them. Round of applause for our bride and groom. They're still in the mix. Especially in that dress, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> this just turned into a frat party. All right, this time we're gonna just take one chair away. One chair. Then we will have our final two couples left in the game for our final round. When the music starts, you're gonna go out and find this item, bring it back to your partner so they can sit down. I need you to go out there and I need you to find someone in this crowd other than yourself or anyone in the game that has a visible tattoo and bring them back to your partner. One chair, one chair. There's one, sit down as soon as you get your partner. Oh, oh, it was a close one. I got a chair and a chair, where's the tattoo? Tattoo, tattoo, our final two couples. Now, Ben here's dancing like he's all that, but I don't think he realizes he didn't want to make it to the final round. Usually I tell the bride and groom, don't make it to this round. This is the embarrassing round, but that's okay. It's only gonna embarrass the guys. Guys, have a seat. Uh-oh. Where's Papa John? He's my new favorite guy tonight. Come over here, Papa. I'm gonna give you some payback, because I know you haven't sprinted like that since high school. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. I'm gonna... <laughs> You see that, that nice lady sitting down there, straight, very last table, middle column. She's looking around right now. She just looked away. Yep, that, yep. Go stand by that table, in the front of that table. Just go stand there. Give it up for Papa John. He was running his heart out. I tell you what. I thought we were gonna have to give him mouth to mouth when that was done. I'm glad he's okay. All right, so to get his payback, this is what's gonna happen. When the music starts, you guys are gonna do what guys do best. Absolutely nothing. You girls are gonna go out and you're gonna find not one, but two items, two items. You're gonna go out and find those two items and you're gonna bring them back to your partner. Then you're gonna put those items on you and you're gonna run straight to Papa John, give him a high five. First one back to the last chair wins. Now here's the kicker. If one of those items falls off you, like if it's a pair of glasses and they fall off, you have to stop and put them back on. You can't just run with them in your hand. Okay, here we go. High five, Vanna take away one chair, first one back wins. Who thinks this couple's gonna take it? Wow, five people like you too. Who thinks our bride and groom's gonna take it? I'm always a rooter for the underdog, show them up, here we go. All right, when the music starts, and only when the music starts, ladies go out and find this item, these two items, and guys just sit right there and get ready to run to Papa John. Here we go. I need you ladies to go out there and find me a purse and a pair of high heels. Take your shoes off, sit in your chair. Sit in your chair, take your shoes off. I'm trying to help you. Oh, she almost took a dinner. Get that high heel on. Get those high heels on, you're ahead of it. Get those high heels on, come on. Don't act like this isn't the first time you have done this, you went to college. Where's your high heels? Somebody give this guy high heels, anybody. Oh sure, they pick a six year old tie. Oh, those are good ones. Hurry up, you can still beat him. He can trip and fall and break an ankle. Hurry back, hurry back. You still gotta run, go. What, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, our most competitive bridal party couple. Wait a minute. Why has nobody told a story about these two back in the day wearing high heels? Because I know that's not your first time. Look how easy it was. And your partner goes and finds, how old are you? How old are you? How old? How old? 12 or 11. 11. You go and find the youngest person here's high heels for him. That's how we get our No, uh huh, yeah. Give him up all a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. What a great job.
We found our most competitive couple, and with that, we're going to get you back out on the dance floor. we got tons of fun coming your way with our bouquet and garter toss coming up soon.